Hello and welcome to this podcast. We're going to talk a bit today about it could happen to you. Work on the uh, chords and think about improvisation and chord changes and maybe chord voicings and all that. So just kind of have a real open discussion about the uh, the harmony here. Uh, and uh, let's start out with uh, doing a little playing on it and uh, take take kind of slow tempo and and explore this a little bit. Okay, let's go through the harmony a bit. So I did a live stream on the YouTube channel uh, talking about this tune and uh, also did a short just kind of improvising over it a bit. Um, so let's dig in a little bit to chord voicings and maybe some of the specifics of, uh, of playing through here. So playing this in the key of G, but later this week I may may play it in E flat or maybe other keys, but um, we're playing it here, G, G major seven. So you want to really tie this with the harmony of a G major seven. And, you know, so G major scale or G Ionian, as an exercise, try that out from the third, from the fifth, and then see if you can branch out and, and maybe play a little bit of uh, four or five notes uh, to, to select on it. Okay. So as we talked about, hopefully you saw some of those, but check out the YouTube channel if you haven't. Um, we have this 2-5, right? And this 2-5 is a minor 7 flat 5 kind of sound, followed by a dominant 7 with a flat 9. Okay, and so that's drawing us to uh, the two chords. So over this uh, material here, the two five, B minor seven flat five, or E seven flat nine, uh, you may pull from the A harmonic minor. So think about how that fits into uh, this sound and, and work at going, you know, to different um, parts of the uh, scale to to kind of accommodate that. But that is a good collection of notes to use, uh, which is compatible over both of these chords. Okay, so the the E7 flat 9. So, um, so you may again go through and pick a note, play A full octave scale, and then try to try to branch out from. Okay, well that's the third, you know, play play a chord against it. Uh, so, so that can help um, to kind of kind of solidify and be able to play, you know, not only from the root but from other parts of the chord as well. And we have a you know another series of two fives. We have a 
another two five to the minor and to, um, a B minor, but it doesn't end up there. So, so that that can be a good change to just focus on maybe even playing and practicing the F sharp seven flat nine sound moving to the G major sound. So exploring, you know that. Play a few notes from each. And getting used to that um, change and moving from one to, to the next. All right, we go through here. We get the four chord, and then we're kind of bouncing back to the two chord. Right, so here, you know, kind of, kind of plain and simple on the two chord. Playing in the key of one sharp on the, on the A minor. Okay, and let's see, so we got that, and then we can go to this chord. I'm kind of, this kind of may look to you, um, so I'm also doing this as a, uh, video to the um, uh, for the member area on YouTube, but um, just to explain it to, to everybody here. So it kind of visually looks like a C minor six, right? But really just thinking about kind of F9. And again, maybe consider getting in touch with the sound of the of the Lydian dominant. From different parts of the chord, you know, do a one octave uh, scale, and then start seeing if you can select a few notes, and just you know that will help with the agility and moving from one uh, chord to the next. Back to the one chord, and we do a two five to the relative minor becomes its own 2-5, the key of two sharps. So try to explore, you know, you know, kind of what moves to what in there. Okay, let's do uh, maybe a little more playing here. second half of the tune is fairly similar. Uh, we start with the same kind of thing here with the, the one chord, and then we have two, five, two, two chord. Another two, five. You can also think of these in terms of the chord, so this would be sharp four to the seven. And then you go to one, four, and then the, again, the uh, three, six, but you know, it's forming, so two, five. So we get the one chord, or sorry, the two chord, rather, two chord, and then moving up to the F7. And the, now here, here's where we kind of have a bit of a departure from the first half. So we have the one, 
and then we have four, but it's more of a flat seven sound. Two, five to the, uh, or five of the two, and then to the the D seven, and into the G. So, just picking out one of those chords we haven't talked about just yet in this this talk. Um, see if you can exper experiment again with Lydian dominant on the C7. So we have... And then again, try it out from different parts of the chord. You know, maybe from the triad or from, from really anywhere. The flat 7 to the flat 7. So do a one octave kind of thing. And then see if you can play just even just a few notes from you know just anywhere on the on the chord. So any any of the seven notes and and just kind of get in touch with how that all sounds. But other than that, um, the chords are pretty much kind of the same. We had this um, just backing up to the first half again. This little kind of side slipping uh, motion, which you can build into it. So you can make that an actual chord change um, into it. So, all right, well, thanks for checking this out. I'm gonna do you know, a little more playing and then we'll uh, call it, call it a day for today.